As scientists question Dr. Fian's hypothesis, others point to clues that have been ignored for years. To Santa seekers worldwide, the most convincing evidence was not found by science, but by a seven-year-old boy over 30 years ago. Swoboda, of course, got this whole thing started and, and is one of the first things as, as, as an adult to actually go, there's something there. Bob Wilkinson is a Santa seeker. He hunts for Santa clues full time. If I could spend five minutes with anyone, you know, I would, I would spend that five minutes with Santa Claus. Swoboda, he's basically, he's the George Washington of, of Santa seekers. I didn't do it to prove to a bunch of scientists. I didn't do it to prove to the media. I didn't do it to prove to anybody but, but my six-year-old soul that Santa exists. Uh, the Swoboda film to date is the only hard evidence that Santa is real. We actually might have our only documented evidence of a Santa sighting. Lincoln, Nebraska, 1973. Seven-year-old Clay Swoboda captures something remarkable. The first and only photographic evidence of the Santa Claus phenomenon. And now, for the first time in 30 years, Swoboda speaks out about his personal search for Santa. Well, I just think, you know, at some point you gotta tell your story. Clay's story begins with an early fascination with photography. My dad had a camera and he was a huge buff. Well, he taught me how to use it just days before. Using a ball of twine, Clay constructed a crude tripwire across their fireplace. His plan was ingenious. Santa would trip the wire upon entry triggering a super eight millimeter camera, which was connected through a series of pulleys. If the camera fired, Swoboda would sneak a glimpse of Santa at work. If he really came in, in down the chimney, he's gonna trip that wire. If he tripped it and I did it right, then that film would fire. And it did fire, capturing 17 remarkable frames of Santa in action. What was on that film would spark a debate in the scientific community that continues today. Not enough solid physical evidence. It is certainly possible that we do have evidence of Santa Claus in action there. Dr. Rule has studied every frame of the Swoboda film. Not absolute proof because that flashes so quickly we can't prove absolutely that's Santa Claus caught on film. But it certainly looks like it and it's the best evidence we have. The film has 17 frames. Frame 14 appears to show a bearded entity in a red suit who may be Santa. This would actually congrue with what we've said about Santa moving at superluminal or at least near light speed. And that's why it's just seen instantaneously. And it certainly would be an argument for the idea that Santa could visit millions of homes in a single night. Using data gathered from analysis of the film, scientists are able to calculate Santa's speed. Analysis suggests Santa was traveling at or near the speed of light, slowing to just over 70 miles an hour within the Swoboda living room. Even his height and weight can be estimated. I've determined that Santa would be about 225 pounds and stand five feet, 10 inches. If Dr. Rule's calculations are correct, then Santa could be more muscular than legend suggests. Still, there are other ways to explain how he slips down that chimney. He could have some sort of weight displacement mechanism or some way to rearrange his molecules uh, to be weightless. Now, this may indicate again that Santa was only a holographic projection or he is indeed traveling at superluminal velocity or at the very least, near the speed of light. No, no doubt about it, the film proves that he's moving very quickly. Despite Dr. Rule's findings, there remains a lot of skepticism surrounding the Swoboda film. Even Dr. Rule can't prove its validity, but he urges science not to dismiss it. I think it's possible. It's certainly the only evidence I've seen of Santa in action. Others say you must look past the science and listen to your heart. 
You have to look. You have to know what to look for. To them, belief doesn't require scientific study. And Santa doesn't need the Swoboda film to be real. It's real. It's real. The Swoboda film is real. Is uh, crucial. The Swoboda film is the real thing. You know, I think the Swoboda film is one of the most extraordinary pieces of evidence that we have for proving Santa. I've studied the Swoboda film in great detail. And as far as I can tell, it appears to be legitimate. All I care about is that I know in my gut and my heart that that's real. It's, you know, it's proof to me, and that's all that matters.